If you love watching BattleBots, then you'll love making this DIY pivot bot, which we did with the Little Bits Gizmos and Gadgets kit. Hi, I'm Shannon Lanier. Hi, I'm Madison Lanier. And today we are making the pivot bot, which is basically a robot that spins and is controlled by this wireless remote control. What do you think? Pretty cool. This is what you'll need. First, we're gonna start with building the remote control. For that, we're gonna take this split and we're gonna connect the power source to it. Now we're okay. gonna connect these ones. Yeah, now this is the slider to the split. So next we have to put these and connect all of them. Now this thing is called a wireless transmitter. So you snap it on, yep, you're gonna put one slide on this side. So we're gonna put this power snap right on the end here up to the wireless transmitter. Okay, so now that we have everything hooked up, we're going to put the battery onto the power source. Good job, everything works. So now we need to take it all and connect it to the mounting board. Good job. So now to get the battery to stay right there, we're gonna put a little blue dot on it. So let's push it down. All right, look, we have a remote control now. Okay, Madison, now we're going to start to build the pivot robot, okay? So we're gonna take this wireless receiver and connect it to the power source. All right, like, boop. So now we have to connect the motors. Help me snap these motors on. Now the motors are on, so let's connect the servo on. Move this wire for you. There you go. All right. Now this is very important. We have to make sure the motors are connected to VAR, right? There's a little switch here. And the servo arm needs to be set to swing. That way it'll go So now that that is done, it's time to start putting things on this. All right. First, we're gonna put on the servo arm. All right, so now, we want to put the motors right next to that, okay? Now, you think you can do the other side? Yeah. To the mounting board. Okay. Right? So now that the motors and the servo on is on, we have to actually put this on, okay? Okay, so now we're going to put the back wheel on, which is called a ball caster. Okay, so now all we have to do is put these wheels on the motor shaft and then plug in the battery, all right? You have to be careful because there is a certain way it goes on the motor shaft. There's a flat side here, and the motor shaft has a flat side, so you have to stick it on right to the flat side meets up. Last step, put the battery in place. All right, now we're gonna set it right in the middle there. Okay, Madison, now that everything's done, we have to see if it works. But first, let's make sure that the remote is on the same frequency as the pivot bot. This is on B, so your channel B. Uh -huh. And this, we have to make sure is also on the channel B. Yeah. All right, so let's you ready? Let's do this. Okay, so here we go. Decorate it however you want. What are you thinking? I think some cool horns would be pretty awesome. All right. Yay, they did it. Now let's tap, now let's tap a battle. <gasps> In this corner, we have Lightning the Pivot Robot. In this corner, we have Fashion Unicorn Matilda. Three, two, two one. one. Oh, ah! no, ah! oh, wait, go this way, go this way. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you tore my arm off. All right, I will admit. Your robot was better because you knocked my little arm or nose off. So you are the winner! Yay! <laughs> Keep watching BattleBots on the Science Channel and check out fatherly.com for more DIY projects. And maybe next time you'll win. Hey, well let's play again. Come oh, on. Yeah.